everyone welcome back to crafts with my coffee today it's crafts with my coke zero but um today i am going to create something i saw in somerset studio magazine the one that's all about mixed media and stuff now i um i have looked everywhere for somerset life life magazine and i think it's been discontinued which is heartbreaking to me. It's like, I love it. It's my favorite. So I will cherish all of the old ones I have. But if anybody out there has seen any Somerset Life magazines, please let me know. I even went on their website, Somerset Studios, and I'm pretty sure I saw it listed under discontinued magazines, which, oh, I loved it. My fave. Anyway, I am making a journal for my sister. It's her 65th birthday. The journal is drying, but I'll show you the cover. The cover of the journal. I'm not anywhere near done, but this is the cover. This book, as you can see, it says Ida M. Lane, 1921. This was my grandmother's school book. And it was an old school book, so I covered it up. The bindings were falling apart. My mom gave me about six of these of my grandmother's. And one of them I gave to Nyoka, my niece, as something old at her wedding. So I have to finish up the cover, and then I'm just going to stitch in the signatures. They're all ready. And it's pretty much just tea stain pages and a couple of other ones like this that have some Indian sari ribbon on them. They'll be interspersed throughout. But what I want to do is present it in some kind of a gift bag that's a little more special than a paper gift bag. And so I was looking in um, this magazine and they had a custom tote and I saw, I don't know if you can see it here, so it says, trust the journey and a butterfly. And I thought, isn't that beautiful? So I had purchased probably 10 of these from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 each. So I thought, I'm going to give this a try. So what you're to do, so they're called, they're by Craft Decor. And it's a canvas bag. And yeah, get rid of those. So what you're to do is take a napkin and we're going to cut out a square of this napkin. So just anywhere on the fold. I've already pre- oh, I'll get better. These scissors are covered in glue. All my scissors get covered in glue from other things and I I know if you run scissors through a uh, foil, it gets rid of the glue now. Are all the images the same? I like this one. My sister's favorite color is turquoise, hence the journal cover color and this napkin color. Now before you use your napkin, most napkins have another layer of white on the background, which makes them obviously thicker and more absorbent. Some of them even have two which the higher quality napkins have two pieces. So you need to tear all of that away. Not tear away, but peel it off. And it peels really, really easily. And right now I'm just trying to cut along that little white line just to get that white trim off, although I don't think it's gonna matter. And so what you're going to do is take your square piece of napkin. So I'll save that for another time. And then you're going to mark around your napkin with some pencil or something light. I'm just going to use a pencil right here. And just sort of mark where the corners are, where your napkin fits, just like that. And then get the other one. There, so that's where I hope you can see the markings. And so I'm going to get rid of my, my magazine and make some room and I'm going to get some gesso. And I will be right back. Okay, 
got this piece of cardboard from a cover of a, a catalog. Stick it inside. First thing you do, stick the cardboard in right to where those markings are because we don't want it to bleed. I'm going to turn my bag this way just for um, the camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. I've got my gesso brush and my gesso right here. I'm using white. I don't know that you could use black, but I suppose you could. And where we've stuck that cardboard, you can see through the book or the bag. And you wouldn't want to uh, not do this because it would bleed through to the other side. Actually, I'm going to put another piece in there. Just don't want to take a chance here. Just slide it in a little bit to the other edge so it's completely protected from seepage. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just simply going to paint that square where our napkin's going to sit. And I've never done this, so you guys are watching this. This is the first one I've done. My sister's birthday is on... Wednesday, it's her 65th birthday. I can't believe it. My little sister is 65. Um, so I want to have this journal done. And the cover of the journal was already done. It was actually pink. And that's why it's got that turquoise paint because I covered over them. I did all the covers on all six. I just didn't add any signatures. So now... Once this is all painted, go around it. It says to extend a little bit further out. So I'm going to go around it the width of the brush, right around on all sides. And then I'm not sure why, but I'm just following the instructions. So you're just making a bigger square than what you initially need. And then once this is all dry, we're going to let... So once this is all painted, we're going to let this dry thoroughly. And I might even use my... Heat okay, this is all dry, so we're going to take our Mod Podge and not our uh, decoupage medium because I don't have it. But if you have it, use it. I'm just going to trust that Mod Podge will do it. So we're just going to lay a thin coat on top of the dry gesso. It's hard to see because everything is white, white, white on white with white, you know? Shush, Fitz. I think he's barking at the wind. They keep saying it's going to snow. But like a half an hour ago, I took some beautiful pictures. They even talked about it on the radio because I sent them in. And uh, now it is not looking nice. So then you lay, gently lay your image on top of it. Hope I got enough. It said a thin layer, so try and get all the... Then it says to take a piece of plastic wrap, you know, sandwich wrap, and lay it over top of this. And then I guess you can manipulate it better. You can move it better, see? And it says to be very careful because the napkin underneath could tear. So you just play along with that for a little bit till you get it as smooth as you want it to be. So I'm still smoothing it and I get I was like, why the plastic wrap? Because you can really, you could not do this with just the napkin because it might tear. But it's starting to become one with the bag. Can you see that? Like there were absolutely no. So you take that off. This is pretty. 
pretty cool. Then you dry it. So, answer, yes, you can use Mod Podge. So don't go out buying any decoupage stuff if you um, don't have some already. I've used Mod Podge and it's just fine. Next step is to dry this. And I th think what we're doing is trying to prevent bubbles. So go back and forth and up and down. Keep going around till you think it's dry. And I kind of like where, if you can see over here, I don't know if you guys can see that, how it's not straight. It almost looks like I painted this on here. And you would not paint straight. Do you know what I mean? And then the next thing I'm going to do is apply another coat of Mod Podge over the top. What a fun, fun, starting to feel like leather now. What a fun gift bag. I love this. See what you could do for Christmas presents with Christmas napkins. How pretty. This is cool, you guys. So I'm just applying another coat. And it's much easier to apply because it's as smooth as can be. So the key here is the plastic wrap. And at first I thought, what the heck is the point of that? But look how smooth this is. There's no bumps, there's no anything. Okay, so I'll dry that I'll be back. Look at this, it's like fabric. I still have the cardboard in there because I'm not done. But the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some paint or however rubber stamps or however you choose to decorate and um, and I you can do whatever you want. I'm going to take some of this teal because I want to echo the dots. See the white little polka dots in the pattern? Well, I want to echo that with some teal paint and I am going to take, I just have some scrap paper here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of teal on it. And then I'm gonna take the back of a paintbrush. I could use a stylus, but the dots are too small. I'm gonna use the back of a paintbrush like that and dip it in. And then just make some dots along the top here like that. All the way down. This is the best dot maker ever. Paintbrushes. Upside down paintbrushes. Just to add a little bit more whimsy to the image. And once I get all of this done, all of my decorating, I'm going to give it another coat of uh, Mod Podge. I'm so glad that you can just use Mod Podge, guys. So we have all this stuff. We have napkins, we have Mod Podge. We are good to go. And I wasn't gonna go around the, the sides because I didn't get the gesso evenly, but I don't think it matters. It's all about whimsy. I would love a gift bag like this. I think I'm gonna make up all the ones I have and I'm gonna go back and get some more of these bags because how to personalize a nice gift bag for your friends and family, you know? And it's fun, something to do. I was, uh, I was catching up on making a temperature blanket, knitting it, so every one row every day to coordinate whatever the temperature is. And I was behind by 54 days last week, so I caught up. And I'm also finished reading my Oprah book. So this morning I got up, I got, okay, what you gonna do today? And then I thought of this bag for my sister 
and to get the journal bound, which for me, binding signatures into the journal, that takes like about half an hour. Once every, If everything's ready, it's not a hard job to do. So I knew I would have that done, but I didn't have anything pretty to wrap it in. I might get some nice, pretty bright yellow tissue and put it in here, bright pink or something. Look how cute already. Come on. Just another way to use napkins. Love. This is what I love about the Somerset magazines. So many ideas from so many different artisans and people, just like you and me, that send in their ideas to the magazine. So once I finish this, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to take out my um, alpha stamps. I don't know if I want big ones or little ones, I'm not sure. But while this is drying, I will decide. This is just adorable. Absolutely adorbs. And she could use this just for, I don't know, a bag to keep her birthday cards in or something. There. That didn't take long. So we added some whimsy with these dots and we'll let that dry. So I decided to stamp celebrate you. So I'm just about to ink up my you and the exclamation mark using archival ranger, ranger ink. And there we go. So it says celebrate you. Now I'm not really happy about how the black ink shad, can you see right there how it shaded there? So I'm deciding if I should maybe just do some couple of pink stripes across the top and across the bottom. I might do that with a brush like this and just go like that. Whoosh and whoosh. Yeah, let's try that. If I have a bright enough pink, I do not know if I have one. What other colors in there? Yellow. I have yellow. My pink is too um, wishy-washy. It's, it's, it's just not bright enough. So I'll use this yellow and a scrap piece of paper. And same thing. I rarely use a palette anymore. I just use whatever happens to be near. So I'll just put some yellow on there, close it up. A lot of my paints are in the art cabin outside. So um, to make sure the cardboard is up at the top, let me pull it up and at the, or it's still down. Let's do the bottom first. Push it down. Oh, it is still there. And I can see it, yeah, it, it's fine. So let's just take our yellow. Maybe we'll wash it a bit. Oh, make sure the brush is wet. Make it a little bit not so, see? Not so. Let's cross our fingers and hope it does what I want it to do. Oh yeah. Gotta keep your vision, people. Believe in your vision. There, let's take that little goober off of there. Well, that's pretty. There, and then I'll just do it at the top too. Celebrate you. And who knows what I can do to... I don't know if this is going to be enough. No, I need more paint. Okay, uh, I made my yellow bands, and then I just thought they weren't, yeah, now, didn't have enough pops, so I started making dots with this color, this light pink. It didn't do a thing, so then I got this color and went over the pink dots with this um, red-violet, and that's perfect. It just looks like... A fun confetti birthday cake. I'm trying to pull it out so you can see it all. See? 
So that covered up all those black marks, or at least it took away from them. So I'm just going to let this dry, put another coat of Mod Podge, and call it done. Celebrate you. So cute. Like, so cute. I mean, this cost, what, $1.25 plus a napkin I already had, plus Mod Podge that I already had, and plus stamps I already had ink I already had and paint I already had. Cute! So here's my finished bag. You can see up close. And then it feels really cool. One thing I want to say, you know the piece of cardboard that I used? It had some, you know how cardboard like this, for example, has that glossy painted surface? It's probably better if you either use a plain piece of brown cardboard with no glossiness or glue or paint on it because it didn't ruin it. But you can look on the inside. Can you see how the cardboard, when I took it out, it kind of stuck to it? So it didn't ruin it. But just letting you know, I, I'm not going to use that again. So anyway... My first try. I really like it. Celebrate you. I don't know if I'll sign it like I was going to put right here maybe Monica 2019 like right along there. But I don't know. But it's really cute anyway and it's a great idea and super super easy. Kids could do this too because um it doesn't require, other than the heat gun, I thought you might have to iron it, but you don't. Like, it's just a really awesome way to use a napkin. I'll show you the pictures. First one they had was this one, Trust the Journey. My lady's really right there. Which I, that's what caught my eye, the canvas bag and then this design. I was like, how'd they do that? And then this Kindness Matters with the kitten napkin. So it looks like she might have, I don't know if that was on the napkin or not, the crown. But you can do whatever you want. Look at this cool one. And then they show this one again on the next. Or do they? I thought they showed that one again. Maybe. Oh, that's this. Yeah, this guy right here. I love that napkin. So just look out for some really cool napkins because you can make some really fun stuff and super super easy there you go so thanks so much for watching hope you guys like my first effort at it it was really fun and i hope my sister likes it too and i'll put her book in where is that journal? So just try to imagine this all finished. There'll be some just so want, you know, it'll be all finished and it'll have all the signatures on it wrapped in really bright tissue and emerging from this really cute gift bag. I love it. So cute. So thanks so much for watching you guys and give this a try and we'll see you next time on Crafts with my coffee. Bye bye.